So, okay, I mean, I'll just go ahead and introduce uh, Jericho uh, McMatthews, who has introduced a, a new program that's coming out at Summit. It's called, what, Morning Meltdown 100. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody has a lot of questions. And Jericho, I know you've been working on it and you're sworn to secrecy about a lot of things, but hopefully there are some tidbits of the program that you can share with us. Um, so away, go ahead. Awesome. Yeah. So as I mentioned to you just briefly uh, before we started the call, I am I am definitely sworn to secrecy, sort of um, above and beyond everything you guys got in the um, in the FAQ, and of course that was shared in the blog post. But uh, I'm happy to kind of discuss those things and uh, like this. By the way, it's really hard for me because for one thing, I'm so so excited, and it's it's been a long time coming, and it's such a massive uh, scope of work. And it's, uh, I think it's going to really touch a lot of lives just because it's, it's such a range and there's such a variety that I know that everyone can connect and um, feel successful and, you know, and, and a lot of the elements that we're bringing in, but it'll also pull you out of your comfort zone a little bit. So it's, it's going to be awesome. And actually, uh, I was meaning to do this call from home, but I'm, as you guys can probably see, I'm, I'm still at Beachbody headquarters and we just had some really amazing long days here, just getting, uh, you know, workouts, putting final touches on things. As you know, we have a DJ uh, that's going to be spinning our music and, and providing music, which I'm so, that's one of the most exciting elements, um, you know, in my opinion about this program is I love moving to music and I find it uh, not only really motivating and helpful just to help you kind of tune out of what you're doing uh, in the moment if something feels challenging or um the time is kind of like dragging in a way to me music allows you to kind of i don't know it, it kind of can help motivate and drive you to to work harder than and, and also take your mind off things if, if you're not um if you're if you're kind of focused on uh how, how much something is like uh feeling challenging it, it allows you to kind of tune out of it and help you push push your limits and push past your comfort zone so um, we've got a very, very talented individual that's going to be working with us on music. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. Awesome. Yeah, one of the questions that we had was, what kind of music is it going to be? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So there's definitely going to be a variety of, of musicality in it. But what I will say is, I think for those of you guys that know me and have done live workouts, especially with Joel and I that, um, that weren't Core de Force, even Core de Force workouts where we're putting our own playlist together, uh, you know that we love really driving and inspiring music. Um, it will cross genres for sure. And um, I will be putting out pretty soon some playlists that, uh, that inspire the stuff that we're putting together. Because uh, you guys may or may not know this, but we, unfortunately, you, you know, it's to be able to have legal rights to original music. It's, it's not only outrageously um, uh, expensive, but it's, just so many loopholes legally. So, uh, but we've got an incredible company that we're working with. And like I said, our DJ is so awesome and he composes music for workouts already. And, um, it's gonna, yeah, it'll, it'll be great music. I'm, I'm sure you guys will love it. So yeah, but keep your eye out though. If you're interested and you want to get a vibe for the style of music, I'll be um, putting some playlists out for you guys to kind of you know, if you'd like to download them and, and try some workouts to them, um, to maybe the programs that we have on BOD right now that don't have music to them. I've got a few out there, but I've kind of pulled them back and, and made a lot of the stuff private just because we've been in the lab kind of creating and I want to, I kind of want to launch them out so you guys can, um, it's, it's kind of fun to tease things as well. So yeah, keep your eyes out. Cool. Can you tell us about the workouts? Like, are they going to be mainly cardio or is there weights involved? What kind of equipment's involved? Cannot answer specifics on, uh, on, on equipment necessarily, but you will see both for sure. You're going to see a range of modalities. Um, it's cross training. So just know that, uh, one of the first, and I think most frequent questions that we're getting and that I'm getting is the calendar. Is it like, where's your rest days? A hundred days in a row. So trust me, I hear you guys. And like, I don't know, show of hands. I can only see one, two, three, four, like five of you guys, but how many of you guys were like, what? Like, 
yeah, you know, I, I get it too. And, and um, I'm a mom and life happens. And so I definitely want to throw that out right away and say that I, I don't want anyone to feel detoured or um, turned off. If you think that you can't do this program because it's supposed to be done or it's, um, it's, it's, it's a hundred workouts on a hundred days. Like the bottom line is we just, we want you to move. We want you to commit to something and, and, and create some new habits that will not only make you prioritize yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself possible. Uh, but of course it's going to ripple effect into every area of your life. You'll, you know, by prioritizing yourself and putting yourself first, that goes with the recovery as well. So everything's built into it. But if you need to take a day off, if, if life gets in the way and you need to take two days off or more, it's all good. You know, more importantly than anything is we just, we want you to be a part of this and everyone is included and um, we'll have some great guidelines for you guys. If you feel like, you know, I can't do weekends, I'm not going to do weekends. You'll have guidelines in there where you can stack if necessary and they're going to be really simple and straightforward. Okay, so to be clear, <laughs> there are rest days or there aren't rest days, but we can take rest days. So the rest days, they, yeah, good question, because that, that needs clarification. Um, there are 100 workouts. Okay. And, I, and I'm using like workouts in quotes right now, just knowing that hopefully you guys understand that, that, that regeneration, flexibility, mobility, um, rest is like, and I'm saying rest, those are workouts as well. So we are, we're designing workouts for you that, that are recovery workouts. Okay. So they're specifically for regen, mobility, um, flexibility, giving your body a break and a gift. Uh, and they're not, you know, all insanely active and going to make you feel sore and, and, and sorry the following day. So, um, we got to listen to our body and so many people neglect to, to remember that element and to incorporate that element into their training program. And, um, that's how people get injured. And that's also how, um, you know, like as we age and get older and our joints start, get, you know, talking to us and, um, we have something happen in everyday life, like slipping on some ice or, you know, twisting our ankle or coming off of a step the wrong way. And if we don't have, for not taking care of our bodies that way, you know, it's, we're going to be unfortunately quickly reminded of that um, with a negative experience. So cool. that said, there's a hundred. Okay. okay? <laughs> and within those hundred, okay. Within the hundred, you'll have flexibility, regeneration, mobility built in. And then as a side note, if life happens, if you get crazy sick, if, if whatever happens, life gets in the way, what I'm saying is, and you have to skip pushing play. If for whatever reason you have to skip pushing play or you know that your life or maybe you guys have family members, friends, challengers, whoever, um, clients that will only do this program if they can do it five days a week or six days a week or whatever it is, that's okay. We'll have guidelines for how you can stack, um, properly stack and safely stack um, to get through it and stay on, on par for 100 and 100 days. So could you tell us about, besides the, the rest recovery days, how did you come up with 100 days of workouts? Like, what, what was the process? Sure. So for one thing, um, and I know, you know, again, this has kind of been a long time coming. As you guys know, you know, the last program that I developed with Beachbody was with Joel, and it was Court of Force. It was a brand new mom coming out of it, and um, we we're diving right into it, and um if you've been around with Beachbody for a while, you might remember what we did, the collaboration we did with, with Les Mills. And so Les Mills is my background. And uh, as a international master trainer for that company, I trained and presented several um, of their formats across the board. So um, have tons of teaching experience between, you know, weight training, hit training, martial arts, dance, um, lots of different varieties. And, you know, for me, I, I really love mixing it up. So that's, that is my style of training. So I do lift weights. I do yoga. I do dance. I do all of these things. And, um, not everyone does, but to make it, um, to make a program that, in, that incorporates 
at least the major modalities like strength training, cardio training, flexibility training. There are varieties within those varieties. So we just thought paired with my background um, and um, ability to kind of represent so many different genres, it was an awesome um, chance to create a program that had so much range and and an ability to kind of like mash it up and really keep your body guessing and get great results, but not make it so complicated or complex because it doesn't have to be. Um, I believe working out should be enjoyable. I don't think that it needs to be crazy long. So these workouts are going to be 20 to 30 minutes. So you're going to be able to get it in and, and get it done. Um, work to a good. So if you guys are familiar and you, you were ever around when we did Les Mills pump or Les Mills combat, you know that we play around with rhythms and, and tempos, which definitely challenge you in different ways and keep kind of keep your body and your muscles guessing. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's for sure going to be a change of pace from, um, from what's what we currently are, are kind of um, providing on, in the catalog on Beachbody On Demand. So I'm excited to bring it to you guys. <laughs> cool. Are we going to have um, some of the, the workouts from combat or that, that type of workout? Um, you MMA. Like that? Yeah, yeah. You like that? A, a lot of people. Guys? Anybody else would like that? You like, you like that cardio kickboxing feel? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go, I'm going to go rogue and let you know that there's some, I mean, Obviously, you know that I love kicking and punching. So, um, core to force is not on the beat, and I love, I love the authentic style of training because you know fighters get in the ring and go five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. You know, but I have, I love, I love moving to music, and that's my background. So, um, there will be kicking and punching. So, yeah, that's in there. <laughs> Great. Uh, can you talk at all about the nutrition program? Oh, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to, am I supposed to, no, I <laughs> so you should be at home. I know, right? I, I'm like, good thing this isn't like uh, a glass of wine right now, because then it'd be a total open, but I'm just kidding. Um, I'm drinking hot tea, everyone. Nutrition guide. What I will say is we have something really fresh and new, and I, I really, really love that we have now incorporated, uh, you know, to be mindset, I think. I believe one size doesn't fit all, right? So, you know, I have a son who has uh, severe nut allergies, like life-threatening nut allergies, and um, he's allergic to sesame seeds. And, um, you know, that said, that's just one example. But we have people with different intolerances, people that struggle getting um, certain food groups and macros and, and so on. So I really appreciate uh, just from a broader perspective the fact that we're going in a direction that allows variety and almost a um, – an a la carte system, if you will, where, hey, if you, if you have a nutrition program that's working really well for you, do it, stick with that, and then do these workouts, you know, like, there's something for everyone, and so with this program, there will be a, a new um, nutrition guide and, 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 um, and a program, if you will, I suppose, and it will have a lot of my favorites in there, but just know that I have, I'm, I'm not the girl that says like, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't eat this. And, um, you know, that's just not me either. So I've, this is what I do. This is my life. Um, so I know how to eat in a way that fuels my body to function and perform at a high level. Cause I'm a busy on the go mom and my family is my, you know, my top priority and chasing my three-year-old who thinks he's, uh, <laughs> dash from the Incredibles it, it takes a lot of energy. And I know a lot of you guys are the same. You, you've got busy lives, you do other things. And, um, you know, you, you, you don't always have the ability to, sometimes you miss, maybe miss meal prep or you miss, um, it's not always easy to like pack, um, everything with you and, and like time it out and all that. So I get it. I totally get it. And it, it actually, it works great for some people. So, um, just know there, are, there's going to be some great flexibility. And the bottom line with me is, I just want everyone to feel successful and whatever that means, uh, you know, big or small, I, I, I want to help people feel, um, feel successful, stay committed, feel supported, feel a part, uh, of this, of this amazing movement that we're, you know, we're, we're working together to, to, um, to be a part of and to create change and 
set an example for everyone around us because it is a big problem. And I think, you know, even these little small choices that we make can make a big ripple effect and impact the world around us. And so, yeah, I just, uh, I don't want it to be hard or complicated. And I hope that you guys see that reflected in the program and you feel it. Great. Somebody asked, is there going to be a tracker like we have in T20? Because I guess a lot of people really like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, who? how do I answer this one? I am so excited and I can't share obviously, but I'm just so, I'm so excited for you to see what is being developed for this because uh, it definitely has elements, the elements that you enjoy with the tracker. Um, and it has some incredibly, like, should I stop talking? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, uh, yes, it's, it is, and it's, but it's very unique and it's going to be, in my opinion, it's a total game changer. Uh, what I really love about it is it's going to be unique to you. It's, it's not, um, it's not necessarily setting the bar in a way that when you open this thing, or when you look at this thing, it's making you feel like, uh, you failed in any way or you didn't, um, I guess you can make it your own if that makes sense. So it's designed in a way where the goal in mind is again, feeling successful, you, you choosing what is being 100% of yourself mean? What is like being the best version of yourself look like? Cause it doesn't look the same to everybody and not everybody maybe will join this, uh, this, this program because they want to hit a certain number on a scale or fit into a certain, um, you know, size of, 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 of pants or, um, you know, a dress. It's, it's so much more than that. So it'll be, yeah, it'll be a really amazing tool. So, um, yeah. Sounds great. I, I know everybody's getting excited about it. There's a, there's a bunch of questions in the chat about, is it, I'm sure there's going to be a modifier, right? Like with all Beachbody programs, but is it going to be safe for kids, for pregnant women, for older people, for injuries, that type of thing. Absolutely. So um, one thing that I feel absolutely confidently sharing, I, I don't like talking about myself and, um, you know, and, and <laughs> I don't mind talking about my background, but I have a lot of experience teaching. And uh, one of the things that drew me to group fitness more than anything was the opportunity to to change uh, not just one life, because I've done a lot of personal training as well, but you, you know, you might have an hour with one person. A treadmill services like you know, one or two people in one hour, but when you, when you are um, standing in a room and you have, whether it's 20 or 100 or 500 people in front of you or more, <laughs> um, you have the ability to, um, to connect and, 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 and improve the lives of like multiple people at once. So my goal is always to make every person feel successful and, um, and never, you know, discluded from anything. So, you know, is, is hit training everyone's jam? No. And I know that, um, you know, and everything isn't everyone's favorite thing in the world. Right. And you can't make everyone happy. So keeping that in mind, of course, there's a way as us as instructors, there's a way for us to teach. Um, and the best instructors do teach like there's always someone new in the room. They, they teach like they've got, you know, they're looking at their mom or their grandmother, or maybe, you know, their uncoordinated, you know, cousin or, you know, whoever. It's important for me to set, set workups up, set workouts up in a way and set moves up in a way that we start from a foundational perspective. And so, you know, safety first, alignment, starting with a slower tempo, um, knowing to and reminding people that the first time you do things, it's okay to feel a little silly. It's okay to feel a little bit uncoordinated. And depending on the genre, depending on the, the style of, of workout, sometimes you're going to feel more or less uncoordinated or maybe unsuccessful, but you do it again and then you do it again. Uh, and you start feeling like, Oh, I got this. I got this. So I realize also I'm saying this, you guys knowing there's a hundred workouts and we're really not repeating 
you know, it's, it's not like um, Core de Force where you did dynamic strength and power sculpt, you know, one of those every couple of days. However, you're going to have a lot of um, muscle memory, okay? So there's going to be a lot of that dang word again. We were joking today about familiarity. I was like, it wrong? I can't say the word. Can someone say it. I think you said it right. That's how Did I, I Okay. You guys, I'm laughing. It's been a long day. Um, so, uh, yes. To answer your question, yes. I, I, this program is for everyone. And I mean, it's also, that's a relative question, right? So, I mean, if you've got mobility, if you, if you have clearance from your doctor to exercise and knowing your range, absolutely. Uh, one of the workouts I taught actually, so after DC, I went to Miami and, um, there were some like people staring at me like I had three heads when I was doing some of the moves that we were doing there. And I don't know how many of you guys were actually in DC and did some of the moves with me, but I know people like stepped way out of their comfort zone. And I appreciate that so much. And I was super excited to, <laughs> to, to just like um, try some of the, um, the movement strategies, some of the protocols and, and, and interval structures that were, you know, we've been testing and playing around with. And um, that said, anytime, uh, like anytime there's a move where, say, for example, someone can't plank or someone can't do a burpee or someone can't jump, bottom line, you have a choice. So you can either fold your arms and stand still and, and stare or, you know, push stop and decide to give up or you can do something else that you know works for you. So if that's step touching, if that's squatting up and down, if that's, uh, you know, doing a, an alternating lunge with no impact, like that's what I want to see people doing. So it's, it's about not standing still. It's about continuing to move your body. Make it your own. If, if there's a move that you're not getting, I'd encourage you to try it. And, and we're going to break it down. Uh, of course, like you brought up and you asked about the modifier. Absolutely, we're going to have a modifier. Um, but we'll also set you up and phase these workouts in a way that you'll have a place to go. And um, I'm going to be there with you guys every step of the way. I'm also going to ask for, for your feedback. And, you know, we did this with quarter four. So there were moves like, does anyone remember the, um, um, <laughs> the Sphinx blasters or like people nicknamed dynamic strength? <laughs> yeah. Um, death by push-ups because we had so many different variations but there were some challenging ones in there and you know switch roundhouse kicks and things that took a little more time to get but it really made it a lot sweeter once you you had to work towards something and you you got it and then you got it right so know this i care a lot about its quality over quantity and i want to see people moving with great alignment and 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 getting great results and not getting hurt uh that's that's not the point of this. The point is feeling great and, um, and doing your best and making it your own. And you're the only person that can decide what that is, not me. And, and that's what, that's who this is for. That's, it's not, it's not about me. It's not, um, to show you what I'm made of. This is giving you guys, uh, the, the tools, the variety to, to tap into, um, you're falling in love with, with working out if you don't already love it. Uh, and, um, to, to feel it overflow in other areas of your life. It's, it's about the lifestyle change. It's not about, um, one program or one nutrition plan being better than the other or, or, um, you know, the new hot thing. This is giving you permission to step back and remember this is your life and, 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 you're the only person that can prioritize yourself and that can, can make, make the change and make the difference. It's, it's not going to be anyone else. So yeah, I just, I, I hope everyone feels excited, empowered. Um, it's okay if you feel a little nervous. It's okay if you feel a little overwhelmed, like thinking of a hundred, all good. Um, that's normal. I mean, I, 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 I was super excited and um, a little shocked. You guys didn't see all the reactions, my facial expressions in um, that, that teaser video that was shared on the Super Saturdays. Um, but there were, yeah, there were even moments that day when we filmed kind of the like a reenactment of, of how this thing sort of came together. And uh, 
you know, some, there were some surprises in there for me where you're like, I'm kind of like, wait, what? Like, cause you know, we've, we've, there, there are always tweaks and changes along the way. Um, but know that I got, I've got your back and I am, I'm there to hopefully represent and relate to in some way. I'm hoping every single person that pushes play on this and, and to like channel you guys. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm a normal girl and I'm a mom and I'm, I experience everything that you guys do. And so it's, uh, I get it. I have the same challenges. So have you already started filming with, uh, with the cast? Um, can I answer that? I think I can answer that. No, no. Yes or no. She goes, no. Yes, yes. Um, no, I have not. No, we are, we are deep in, uh, casting mode right now. So, so we can um, still apply. The selection, the selection process is, is happening right now. And I'm very excited about, um, the people that I think you guys are going to fall in love with. And, um, uh, yeah, we're still, in, we're still in the thick of it. And it's, um, that's, that's been one of the big um, projects over these like last week, this week, and then in, into a little bit of next week, um, rolling very closely towards the start of filming. And it's going to span over quite a, um, you know, quite a few months. <laughs> um, and, but I'll see you at success club. So we, I get it. I get a dark week there. I get a down week. So how many, are you guys, anyone making it to success club? Anybody, anybody? Okay. Are you guys, anyone trying out for team cup and trying out for the hope, hoping for the, the test group stuff? Awesome. Yeah. So it's, it's happening soon. And yeah, so we'll be, uh, I mean, I guess you could say we're in rehearsals now, but cast rehearsals are going to be rolling in um, next month and then filming m March through June. And yeah, so. Is there going to be a live certification for this as well? Uh, I cannot answer that one right now. I can say that that decision hasn't been made. Um, but okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're about out of time. Do Do you have anything else to add? Um, somebody said, "Is there anybody overweight in the cast?" Well, again, we haven't. We actually haven't uh, invited or selected. Yet we have, we're paring down, we're in the paring down mode. We had an incredible outpouring, like a, a, an absolutely amazing um, two full days of an open casting. And then we have another one this Friday and we were gonna see some more fresh um, people come in. So absolutely know that the goal is yes, you know, to have a wide variety and range of, uh, of, of an amazing cast with, awesome people. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking too, like, I'm going to, we're going to be spending a lot of time together. I think we're going to become like a family, right? It's, it's a, it's a lot of workouts, a lot of time together. And, um, some most importantly, you know, of course, at least to me, I, I'm, I find it very important to, um, to look for awesome personalities and vibes and, uh, just good, good people, kind people, supportive people that are, are doing this, um, for the right reasons. And, um, and I, I'm, I'm excited about how it's coming together. So know that that is our goal, of course, to have people that you guys can, um, knowing that we can't have a hundred people on our set, we, we do our best to make sure everyone feels represented and feels, uh, like they can have someone that they can, they can connect to, um, without type casting, if that makes sense as well, because I will, I, I do want to say this, um, and this is a big misconception, I think, that someone's physical look is reflective of their, their fitness level. And that is absolutely, like, it's so false. Um, you can have, I mean, look at, look at, like, some CrossFit bodies and some, man, like, some of the girls I follow on Instagram, you guys might look at them and go, like, oof, like, she needs to, you know she needs to do some cardio or she needs to, and then you see this person moving, you're blown away. Like they're, they're a powerhouse, like a rocket. And, um, and then vice versa, you might see someone that's like incredibly lean and has definition and, and muscles popping and they might vomit after doing 20 seconds of, uh, plyometric lunges and, or, and burpees. So you can't always judge a book by its cover. And, um, and, and we're not, we're not, or at least I'm not, and this is a collaborative, 
a, a collaborative effort, of course. Um, but I look a lot deeper than the surface. And um, of course, we need people that have stamina that don't have tons of injuries and things like they're signing up for a big, um, a, a very, very large scope of work through this filming process. So we need people that can actually hang in, but know that they're human as well. And they're going to need to take modifications, not just the modifier. You're going to see our cast need to take modifications from time to time because that's the way it is. And our modifier, I'm hoping if I get my way, I want to see our modifier get off a modification every now and then because it, you, you're not living your life as a modifier if you, if, unless that's your goal and that's your 100% and, and that's the box you want to set yourself in and that's where you want to be. But I think to get uncomfortable and to find your 100% and to, to be the best version of yourself, you got to step out of your comfort zone and, and feel how it feels uh, to try it. You got to try it. So that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are out of time and we want to respect your time. So thank you very much. And I think we're all very excited about it and we can't wait to hear more about it when you're able to release more information or Beachbody is. So, so sure, thank you very much I, I, for joining us. So much. And if you guys, um, you know, in the meantime, and I, I know that too, also that like if some of you guys I'm sure are in um, maybe in my, my DM inbox on Instagram or possibly Facebook. It, Facebook is a harder one for me. Things are crazy right now. Um, things are kind of like, we're finding those pockets where things level out a bit, but know that um, I'm just so excited to connect with you. Hopefully see you face to face face-to-face, -face, answer your questions, um, and, and maybe even get a little strategy together where we can collect uh, some sort of common or like, you know, you know, frequently asked questions and kind of put together some, I'll do some lives. If you guys want to keep an eye on Instagram, um, probably Instagram, that's, that's more my jam than Facebook, but uh, I'll do some, some Instagram lives and we can pop on and I'll collect questions and we can kind of get through some more of these questions as we get through the process. Um, maybe on a more regular basis. So. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time and happy new year. <laughs>